Hello guys, welcome back to another wonderful session regarding the exam oriented classes. In this classes, we are going to see a topic on consignment. This consignment I have already told in the class, you need to watch the uh, full course which has been uploaded in my YouTube channel. Okay, that in this YouTube channel, we are, you, you will get four to five hours of lecture. That is more than sufficient to score very good marks. But even though here I have taken two extra sums, which will give you a good weightage and good conceptual clarity regarding the consignment part. Okay. So those who are going to watch this video exam oriented approach, if you want full course details, it has already been freely uploaded in my YouTube channel, Ari Academy, CA, CS and CMA, and you can watch it out. Okay. Now we will start regarding with the part. Okay. Yeah. A question which is from a CA, CMA Institute material that is Mercer Singh Traders. M by S is nothing but Mercer's. Mercer Singha Traders of Surat consigned 5000 liters of edible oil costing rupees 32 each. It means 32 each liter, 32 per liter to M Limited. Okay. Mrs. is a consignor to M Limited. M Limited is a consignee of Mumbai. On 1 to 2022, S Limited paid rupees 5000 as a private insurance charge it is My voice is not clear, just a minute. Cool. M Limited paid clearing charges of 6,100, good on rent of 300, salesman salary of 900. This M Limited will act as a consignee. Okay. Then it was entitled to 6% ordinary commission and 4% del credit commission on sales. Why there is a need for del credit commission? The consignor will give the authority to the consignee to sell the goods on the credit to bear the debts. He will give a del credit commission on sales. On 36, 2022, M Limited reported 4,000 liters were sold at 1,65,000 and 100 liters were lost due to Oils, it is easily due to evaporated to evaporation will be considered as normal loss. It is in the ordinary course of business. That loss is an ordinary course of business. So normal loss will be lost due to evaporation. A customer who bought liquor for rupees 1500 could pay only 40 percentage of his amount. Here the bad debts comes to a picture. Mr. M Limited paid its balance due by check. Show the consignment account in the books of Mrs. Singha Traders. That's what you are pushing. Correct. Here, we are going to prepare an account. But before preparing an account, first you need to do put debit and then do credit and write consignment account. Okay, write the consignment account and particulars as the format which we are going to do. The same thing, particulars, two rupees column, same particulars and two rupees column we will put. From this, we are just do, going to do a posting first. We will read the question and we will do the posting. So first thing we will write two goods sent on consignment account. What is amount? 5000 liters into rupees 32. What is the value? 5000 into 32. What is the value? 1,000,000. It will be good. Correct. 1,60,000. So I will write 1,60,000. Okay. Next, they have given some expenses. Correct. That is a consignor's expense. That is regarding 5000. I will write down two bank account. In brackets, I will write down consignor expense or I will write the same name of the expense. Freight and 
insurance charges, that value comes around 5,000. Once it has been done, next, I will debit the values of M limited, that M limited account, because I'm going to bear all the expenses of the consignee, which is going to the, for that purpose only, consignee will give an account sales to the consignor. What are the expenses he has committed to sold that product? From that account sales, we get this information to M limited account. He is making clearing charges 6,100 6, and good on rent 300, salesman salary 900. Here, we will write down first clearing charges. Do along with me in my notebooks so that it will become easy. Clearing charges will be 6,100. Then we'll have good on rent. That good on rent will be 300. Next, salesman salary. That salesman salary will be 900. And totally, it will be 7,300. Correct, 7,300. Next, after that, we are going to provide some commission. That commission, also we will write it in the provided to the consignee, that is M Limited, we will write down commission. We are going to provide two commission. One is ordinary commission. Ordinary commission also should be calculated on the sales. So we will write the sale value. On M Limited, he has sold reported of rupees 4,000 liters at 1,65. Here I will write by M Limited account. In brackets, I will write down sales. Then again in this bracket, I will write down 1,65,000. Directly I will write. Then afterwards, I need to deduct the ordinary commission. In brackets, I will write down rupees 1,65. Because 1,65 is not an unit. It is a rupees into what is the percentage of ordinary commission they have given? Six percentage they have given. That is into six percentage. What is the value? 1,65,000 into six percentage. 9,900. Very good. 9,900. Yes. Then we will provide you with Delcred Draw Commission to bear a bad debt. Del Delcred Draw Commission is nothing but on the same sales 1,65,000 into how much percent they have given? 4 percentage they have given. So we are also providing 4 percentage. So 1,65 into 4 percentage 6,000. 600 good 6600 if you add all this you will get 16500 as your value okay and here now our, our hero comes to a picture the most important thing in this question is this in the working note okay working note i will put it in different way kindly mark it down this working note working note number 1 okay we are going to Computation of, okay, computation of unsold stock or closing stock and valuation of valuation of abnormal loss. Okay, we will do all this in single, write down particulars, write down units, write down rupees. Okay, first part is we will write first goods sent on consignment. I will shortly call them as GSC. Shortcuts are allowable in working notes. You can use the shortcuts in the working notes. Okay. Next. How many units? 5,000 units. Correct. What is the pricing? 1,60,000 is a pricing. Okay. And next step is I need to add the consignor's expense. I need to add the consignor's expense. Consignor's expense is only one expense. That is regarding freight charges. That is 5,000 I will add. And it will become 1,65,000 and this 5,000 units, 5, units will be carried forward. And 
you should not directly add the consignees expense consignees non consignees non recurring expense you should do and expenses before the transit correct if i am sending the goods mumbai to surat okay in between there is a transit loss that transit loss here i am incurring consignors expense here there is a transit loss and then only consignees expense will comes to a picture now you need to deduct the goods destroyed in transit goods destroyed in transit it is an abnormal loss okay it is an abnormal loss that abnormal loss value you need to calculate that is 200 is an abnormal item they have given correct so 200 liters it has been destroyed so that 200 we will deduct and how i calculate this value that's a point just do simply cross multiplication and write down in your examination 165000 multiplied by 200 divided by 5000 what is the value we'll get 6600 is the value okay 6600 is the value after that if you deduct you will end up with 4800 and if you deduct from 165000 you will end up with 158400 158400 then you will add non recurring expenses of the consignee non recurring expenses of the consignee you will add that expenses will be all those expenses which we have taken correct now, this is the only one thing which is a consignee's non recurring expense clearing charges because the good on rent you need to do it on every monthly basis till the goods are sold salesman salary every month they need to pay only the non recurring charges is clearing charges so i will only add the clearing charges okay that clearing charges amounts to 6100 if i add this my value of 4800 units will remain same if i add this it will become 164500 okay next important point comes to a picture that is 100 liters of the goods were lost due to evaporation that will be considered as normal loss so i will deduct less normal loss i will write in brackets write down due to evaporation okay and then we will deduct 100 units what is my final value the cost should be added to the normal loss that is 164000 500. don't need to find any value for that normal loss and after that i will write down less goods sold how many liters of oil they have sold they have sold 4000 liters of oil so this 4000 liters of oil i am going to sold it off remaining 700 will be my unsold stock but wait how are you going to calculate the value? Same process. Cross multiply and write down. Don't never put this value in your examination. It will be completely a blender you are doing. Here, this 1,65,000. It is a direct cost inclusive of profit. 1,65,000. That you should be able to find out the cost value. Here in all the working notes which you are doing it here everything will be on the cost okay so if you cross multiply what is the value you will get 4700 164500 multiplied by 4000 divided by 4700 what is the value you will get 140 is the cost of the goods sold 165 remaining 25 is the profit okay unsold stock is 700 if you deduct this it will become 24,500. The important point which you need to take care of this, this area. Never put direct sales value. Here you need to put the cost value of the goods sold. Okay, that's how unsold cost. This working note itself will carry three marks. Three to four marks in your examination. If the question is for seven marks, 
this working note will carry three mark. At least minimum two mark, maximum three mark. If the question is for eight mark, four, four mark, they will allot. Okay. And now you need to write the formalities. What you need to do, you will admire the abnormal loss. Okay. That is goods in transit. Abnormal loss only we need to do. That abnormal loss value will become now 6,600. You should give the reference working note number one. Next, you should write buy consignment stock. Don't write closing stock. Write down buy consignment stock. Okay, and give the reference working note one. That working note one references is what? 24,500 is a reference. Now tally both the sides, add both the sides. What value you will get? What is the value you will get? What is the total? 1,96,100. 1,96,100. Next thing, if you deduct, if you deduct all this, deduct everything, 1,60 plus 5,000 plus 7,300 plus 16,500 minus 1,96,100, it will become it will become 7,300 is your final value. It's correct. 7,300 is your final value. Final value will become 2. Write down 2 profit and loss account. Okay. Don't write PNL account. Write down profit and loss account. Okay. This is how your 7 mark or 8 mark question should be done. Okay. With this, shall we move to the next question? Second question under the consignment part. Most in, another interesting question you will be able to find it out. Little bit crux point here. Yes. Nothing but here we will try to solve this question number two. Question number two on 1 1 2021. Mr. Sam of Kerala consigned to Mr. Alex of Chennai goods for sale at invoice price kindly note it down it is at invoice price mr alex is entitled to a commission of five percentage on sales at invoice price this invoice this question it includes loading charges and 20 percentage of any surplus realized over and above its invoice price this is an important point 20 percentage or over and above of its invoice price. Goods costing 5,000 were consigned to Chennai at an invoice price of 7,50,000. The direct expenses of the consignor is given sum of 50,000. Then 31,3,2021 and account sales is a statement sent from consignee to consignor. Okay. Was received by Mr. Sam from Mr. Alex showing that he had affected the sales of rupees 6 lakh in respect of four fifth of the quantity of the goods consigned to him. That's what's an important point here. It has been consigned to him. From that, he has sold four fifth of the goods. Okay. Mr. Alex's direct expenses were 15,000. Direct expenses has been 15,000. Mr. Direct expenses mean non recurring expenses has been 15,000. Mr. Alex accepted a bill drawn by Mr. Sam for 5 lakh and remitted the balance due in cash. You are required to prepare consignment account and the account of Mr. Alex in the books of Mr. Sam. In the books of Mr. Sam. Okay. In this question, we are going to be able to identify an interesting area. Okay. Maybe this question can be tested in your examination in an, another different way. Is my voice is audible? Yes, perfect. Here I am facing some network issue here. So try to adjust it properly. We will try to do this sum. First we will write in the books of 
in the books of Mr. Sam and we will write consignment account. Okay, we will write credit, we will write debit and particulars we will do the dates, the dates if you want you can put it out. Okay, particulars, rupees, date if you want to put, put the dates. They are given the dates, you need to put the dates. If the dates are not given, the column should be omitted. You will write rupees column. Okay, we will first do the formalities. That is first thing, they are on the first January, they have consigned the goods, correct? On Jan 1, 2021, you have consigned the goods. So I will write Jan 1, 2021. In any order, you can write 1, 1, 2021 also, you can write. Okay, not an issue. Okay, I will write down two goods sent on consignment. How I will write down? Here it is based on invoice price. What I will write down? In brackets, I will write down invoice price. What is the invoice price value? 7,50 is an invoice price value. Now, immediately on the credit side, I will cancel the loading value. Loading. That is an abnormal. What is unrealized profit? I will do. Yes, it is mandatory to write the dates because in our examination, I have, I have a doubt in the chat box. Some Niveta is asked. Asking the doubts, it is mandatory to write the date, sir. Yes, it is mandatory to write the date if they given the date. Okay, it is mandatory to write the date if they given the date. If the question is very silent, not, nothing to say about the dates, date column doesn't matter. Because even though your entire answer is correct, the examiner will hesitate to give you full marks, not writing that simple column called date. So try to write it to get full out of full marks. Suppose what my simple question now. Huh? Minimum seven marks question if you're going to attend, at least minimum marks you should get six marks. That one mark a probable error will be there. Okay, so maximum try to write the same. Okay, here we will write down by good sent on consignment account. In bracket, I will write down loading. That loading, how I am going to calculate rupees seven lakh fifty minus rupees five lakh is a Cost price they have given. So I will write down 2 lakh 50,000. So it will automatically become 5 lakh on the debit side. 7 lakh 50 on the credit. So 7 lakh 50 on the debit. 2 lakh 50 on the credit. Indirectly, we are saying we are only debiting 5 lakh. Okay, that first point is done. Then they are given consign as direct expense. Bar. Consign as direct expense is 5 lakh, 550,000. I will write to bank account. The same date to bank account, I will write consign as expense. That consign as expense they have given 50,000. Correct? That 50,000 they have given. Perfect. Then they have said that commission we need to give. Okay. And here I will give you 4 to 5, I will leave 10 to 15 lines and I, I will be able to find out. They say 20 percentage on the invoice goods surplus. Correct. 20 percent on surplus realized over and above the invoice price. And here they have given four fifths of the goods were consigned. The affected the sales, actual sales was six lakh. That six lakh first I will write down. By Alex, that is sales. I will realize that sales on 31-3-2021. Okay. 31st March 2021. I have realized that sales, that sales value is around 6 lakhs I have done. Okay, that is a sales value. And I will write few lines and I will write down that is invoice price of goods sold I need to calculate. What they said that it is 4 fifth of rupees 7 lakh 50,000. What they said, goods consigned to him Mr. Alex, four fifth of the points, goods consigned to him. What is the consigned goods to him? That value will become 7,50,000. That 7,50,000, if you calculate, four, lakh, four fifth of 7,50,000, what is the value? What is the value? Four fifth of 7,50,000. You will get 6 lakh as your value. This 6 lakh, it means that the goods that sold for 
rupees six lakh and hence there was no surplus price the goods is not sold the goods is simply sold at cost price the goods is that the goods has been sold at same average sales price it is not sold anything extra here also it is six lakh my actual sales also actual sales as per the given question also six lakh so there is no surplus so there is no 20 percent commission on it so there is no 20 percent commission on it so we are going to give it in the notes therefore extra commission at 20 percent will not be given to Mr. Alex. We are not going to give it to Mr. Alex. That's our thing. Not we are going to give it to him. And then we are going to give you commission. What the commission they have said? Commission should be given. The normal commission should be 5 percentage on the sales at the invoice price. What is the sales at invoice price value? Or find out 6 lakh is the sales at invoice price value. You saw down. We will write down 31 3 2021. We will write down to Alex. In brackets, we will write down commission commission we will write down 6 lakh into 5 percent what is 6 lakh into 5 percent 6 lakh into 5 percent will become 30,000 6 lakh into 5 percent will become 30,000 okay then we need to prepare an this account Okay, so we are going to find out the stock on consignment. Here I will give you a trick without an working. Okay, how you are going to understand the logic, I will tell you. We will write by stock on consignment account. Okay, stock on consignment account. Here they said it is four fifth of the goods of the consignment were sold. Correct. What is the remaining thing? One fifth is the remaining thing. Correct. One fifth is the remaining thing. Okay. What are the things we need to add? First, we will put 150,000 multiply by 750 as the invoice price of the goods plus consignors direct expense 50,000 plus consignees non recurring income 15,000. Consignees non recurring income 15,000. Calculate the value and give me the value. Calculate the value and give me the value. In meantime, I will write it here. Uh, that is expenses. That is 15,000. What is the value? Yes, 1,63 is a correct answer, Niveta. 1,63,000 is a correct answer. That is a consigned goods, but it is an inclusive of invoice price. It is an inclusive of invoice price. We need to remove the invoice price on the consignment stock here we will use the word kindly understand here we will use the word to stock reserve because it is at the closing stock unrealized profit here we will use the word to stock reserve this to stock reserve we will calculate it from what is the loading charges we are having what is the loading charges we are having? Total loading charges is how much? Total loading charges is 2,50,000. We have written on the credit side. Correct? On this only closing stock should be calculated into 1 by 5. What is the value? What is the value? Your final value will become... 50,000. Our final value will become 50,000. Now the formalities will be there. Now which side will be higher? Credit side will be higher. Calculate the credit side. Calculate the credit side. It's a credit side value. 10 lakh 13,000 is a credit side value. Here also it is 10 lakh 13,000 is a value. Okay. Now if you deduct everything, if you direct things, you will write down on the same 31st March 2021, you will write to profit on 
consignment you will write or to profit and loss account you will write what is my final value 1 lakh 33000 i think so is it 1 lakh 33000 kindly check it out 7 lakh 50 plus 50 plus 30 plus 15 plus 50000 you will get 8 lakh 95000 minus 10 lakh 13000 you will get 1 lakh 18000 your answer is wrong it is 1 lakh yes how it is 1 lakh yeah 1 lakh 18000 is a correct answer nivetha is doing correct 1 lakh 18000 is the final value profit and consignment transfer to profit and loss that's a final value you will write i am not having enough space so i am writing like this you will write it in your exam every time if you are going to go for and closing stock or balancing give three to four lines or maximum five lines and then do the balancing you will be able to find sufficient time here also you will you will put star to make a references okay then finally last account comes under the consignment is alex account okay alex account is a consignor account consignor account i will do it now kindly listen here we will write particulars and particulars we will just do the what are the alexis account we are facing inge enga enga la alex account in irukko inge enga enga la alex where here where there is alex account we will do a posting here we will write by consignment we have two accounts correct one is regarding expenses one is regarding commission okay expenses is 15000 commission is 30000 and here we will write only one thing we will write two consignment account two consignment account in brackets we will write down sales that is entirely 6 lakh entirely 6 lakh and they have given one word in this question the bills has been drawn for 5 lakh 5 lakh is a bills receivable a journal entry will become bills receivable to debtors like this here i will consider bills receivable to alex account here i will write down to alex on the credit side i will write down by bills receivable what is a by bills receivable value 5 lakh is a bills receivable value and then simply done i have given 6 lakh on that 6 lakh you have given a worth of 5 lakh bill on that 5 lakh bill i have made some expenses of 15000 and 30000 what is the remaining value with this we are going to solve with the consignment part final value is 55000 this 55000 is nothing but they have treated it is already paid through the bank we will write down by bank account and we will write it is a balancing figure okay that solve with our entire consignment part this was an interesting question here you need to remember this point and you need to write it down okay with this consignment part is over whenever we are going to upload this video in the youtube or the description below we will upload the same if time permits we will upload the same the google drive folder also you can download the same pdf from it okay so with this we are closing our consignment session in the next session we are going to focus on bills of exchange